Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. Um, it's my distinct pleasure to be um, moderating this panel on the political economy of debt crisis resolution. It's particularly my pleasure because we have three panelists, or four panelists, sorry, who all straddle the worlds of uh, academia, policy, and activism something I have uh, manifestly failed to be able to do. So I'm hoping to learn some lessons. Um, so I'll just introduce everyone, and they'll, um, they'll put up their paper titles as, as I speak. Everybody gets 20 minutes. Let's try to keep to it so we can have time for discussion at the end. And we have a timekeeper. Timekeeper. Um, okay. <laughs> um, each paper gets 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yep, and there is a timekeeper on this side for the panelists. Um, so please, uh, you know, if you go over time, I'll get up and do my crazy dance, which nobody wants to see. Um, so starting from. <laughs> Starting from my right, it's my pleasure to introduce Dongo Sambasila, who is coming to us from Ideas and the Rosa Luxemburg Foundation in West Africa. Uh, alongside with him is his co-presenter, Charles Abuga, also coming from Ideas. Um, next is Ahilan Kadirgamai, um, coming from the University of Jaffa. And last but not least is Lara Merlin coming from Bucharest University. So over to you. <laughs> 